everybody, I'm Allison. I'm Grant. And we're with the Winkle, and today we're making a brush bot. Grant is the one that prototyped for the brush bot and came up with this amazing design. And so he earned $10. Good job, Grant. I thought I earned 20. So if you love engineering and robotics, this is a great project for you today. Should we see what's in our kit? Yeah. Two pipe cleaner, some electrical tape, a tip of a toothbrush, two googly eyes, a vibrating motor, some glue dots, and a button battery. This looks so fun. On top of everything in your kit, all you'll need is a pair of scissors, and we're ready to get started. Let's do it. All right. So the reason Grant prototyped this is because he is a big fan of hex bugs, and he loved playing with them, and he wanted to make his own hex bug. So that's why we're going to be balancing this vibrating motor on a toothbrush. So I'll show you how this vibrating motor works. Okay, so we have our vibrating motor with two lines coming out of it, two wires. And we need one wire to touch one side of the battery and the other wire to touch the other side. If you do that right now, you just practice that right now by pinching them together, you'll see very quickly your vibrating motor turn on. Now the reason that's vibrating is because there's a little half sphere right here which puts it a little bit off center and makes the vibrator go ooh, 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 ooh. okay? So we're gonna turn it into a bug first and then when we're done, we'll put all the circuitry on it and see our brush bot wiggle. Okay, to make your legs, you wanna measure your pipe cleaner so that the legs have some support on either side. Kind of like you're riding a bike with training wheels, the legs are gonna help give your brush bot a little bit of support. After you've measured and cut them, you want to put on your glue dots to secure them into place. Glue dots can be kind of tricky if you haven't used them before, but you wanna just make sure not to touch the glue dot itself, but to touch the back of it. So when you go to put it on something, you press it on the thing that you want, press the back of it and then slowly peel it off. Okay, we're going to put the battery on the back of our brush bot by pressing that glue dot on like I showed you before and peeling it off. We're not putting the battery directly onto the glue dot though. We're going to take some of our electric tape, about an inch and a half of electric tape. Take your blue wire and put it onto your electric tape and put the negative side, of the side without the plus, onto your battery. You wanna make sure this electric tape is making really strong contact with your battery. Because if these two wires don't make contact with your battery, then it won't work. Okay, that's working. Now we're going to wrap the electric tape as tight as we can around this battery. We're stretching it really tight really tight. I'm still stretching it and pressing it really hard right there. Okay, I'm going to put it on my bug onto that glue dot that we put on there. Okay, so now our vibrating motor is going. I put a glue dot right here on top of the battery. We fold the vibrator over and watch our bug go. Now if you want your bug to go a little faster, maybe have less friction on the table, by cutting some of the legs or curling them. You could even curl them up a little bit so they're not touching the table as much. Whoop. It takes some playing around, getting used to it. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so I put a little eyeball on the front of my guy. Let's see yours. Mine, this is the head. Oh, like the motor's the head. Okay, so let's yeah. see how they work. Mine is kind of a slower dog. It's like a lazy dog. <laughs> And mine is a dizzy one, it looks like. You guys, these brush spots take a lot of playing around, but if you have the connections, okay, you have one side of your motor is attached to the battery and the other side is attached to the battery, that's gonna create a circuit, a constant flow of energy from battery to motor back from the motor to the battery. It'll create a constant circuit, giving that motor energy and making that vibrating part go around and around and making your brush spot wiggle. Now everybody's is gonna be different. Grant's turned out differently than mine and that's okay. I think they're both really fun. 
anytime you're engineering, you're always going to make mistakes and try again. You guys can do this. Just play around with it. I know a lot of times we want to give up when things get hard, but just keep trying and keep practicing. You will get it eventually. Just keep using your electric tape and keep playing around with it until you get it right. And pretty soon your brush bot will be wiggling all over the place. Now, if you want to turn your brush bot off, you're just going to detach your motor, take the wire out of it, okay? That's going to be kind of like your off switch. And then you want to turn it back on by putting your wire back in there and attaching your vibrator. Did you have so much fun making the brush bot today? Yeah. Me too. I want to see what our friends out there have made and see what their success is. If you have a grown up take a picture or video of you and post it on social media, tag us at the Winkle Crate and that way we can see what you made. Yeah. Have fun making your brush bot today everybody. Bye. Bye.